at his first race. What did you think, David? It was really fun. You know, I enjoy going up the bluff. It was a dream for the past two years to do it, but you know, COVID uh, shut it down for me, and you know, it's awesome that I could get here to do it. David Wakoyak races, and you can too. Hey, race fan, Brian Davis races, and you can too. I am here with my new friend, Ian. Ian is uh, a student at a college right by my house, and so uh, I'm claiming this. He's guest riding for our team this yeah. week, wh whether he likes it or not. So welcome I mean, to the Diablos. Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just got here uh, at the Lacrosse Omnium, and uh, we are parked outside the TT, uphill TT. Let's see, you can see. Um, actually, you probably won't be able to because I don't feel like messing with the camera, but anyway, it goes way up the hill. It's super steep. So it's, uh, I looked in 2019, I did this climb in 10 minutes and 20 seconds, 10 minutes and 40 seconds, somewhere in there. How about you, what's your goal? Uh, I don't know, under 10, if I can do 10. Nice. I'll be happy with that. If I don't blow up, I'll be happy with that. Um, if I can beat Brian, I'll be happy with that. Yeah. I think I'm a better climber than him. So. I would hope, I hope so, man. You're like 40 pounds less climbing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that should help. All right, well, we got here super early, so we're just gonna do a little spin and uh, check out the climb. We'll catch up with you soon. up this hill and this is what I'm doing this TT with my normal bike however the only big change is I'm trying out these bars I'm about a month well two months into using these bars from coefficient cycling and uh, they're cool because they kind of cheat the uh, not that anybody cares if I do UCI events but you can tuck your thumb under here and then you're UCI legal without having to do puppy paws you can still get super arrow I also find it sticks me out a little bit further so definitely just a more arrow little setup I do find they're like a hair more twitchy when you're on the tops or the hoods, but uh, overall, really not a huge difference. Aesthetically, they definitely took me a minute to get used to, but I kind of dig them now. KHS, back in business, another year of KHS Flight 900. And I couldn't be happier. I love that bike. Yo, That's what they tell me. You know, first six minutes you're like oh I'm doing good only like four more minutes but that's hard first six are hard too I don't know if I had much more that might be all she wrote so that's good I feel good about that oh lord let's see how these fast men on my team did I saw you take your me time over there I did the yep. same thing yep. yeah well, I, you need that <laughs> I saw you guys I'm, like, I'm uh, going over there <laughs> two minutes Last time I 
2019, I had quite a talk with God over there. <laughs> like, I'm done with this sport, man. <laughs> I'm so done. I quit. So hard. I'm going back to curling. You ain't got none of these problems. It's very flat. <coughs> well, should we go down? I don't know. <laughs> They'll get a shuttle up here eventually, right? I'm gonna get a beer here, because if you show your number, apparently you get a beer. <coughs> We set a record for the most men with shaved legs in the Alpine Inn just now. All right, enjoy. like that confidence. <laughs> mine, mine was a little bit more pain than eight minutes. <laughs> straight lines, straight lines, Zach, go get them, straight lines. I'm embracing the fact that I'm a, a mid 40s masters racer and it is what it is. All right, well that's that uh, 323, much lower power than I had before, but these last four weeks of training have been awful, so not surprising. My ah, it feels good to have the sun. Look, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I'm good. Hi, Coop. fam it is saturday morning and we are off to uh chaseburg wisconsin to do the road race and this course is gorgeous i'm excited to go out there and race so i feel good after yesterday's effort uh nothing's sore on my body i feel good that i left it all out there i uh looked at my stats and 80 percent of that ride was in vo2 max and 20 percent maybe 30 percent 25 percent was in threshold so hey you know that's as good as that's as good as I need to do. I'm okay with that. Little cabin, two bedroom. A little oatmeal this morning, and uh, I think we're ready to rip. How you feeling, Ian? Feeling good. I'm ready to ready to drop some fools. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fresh souls. Yeah. Love it. I think I'm ready to, you know, when it goes above 10, percent that's that's where I'm gonna shine. So. Yeah, that's your, well, that makes sense. Being 150 pounds and a ball of power. That's a good spot. <laughs> All right, let's race bikes. Gosh, this place is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Just stunning. Should be a two hour effort, roughly. So, I have 150 carbs on board, plus an extra 25, so. We're covered, carb a minute, covered, check. Hi friends. Everybody ready for a fun day? Yay. All right. Thank you, Anna. Gorgeous day, gorgeous course. What could be better? Yeah, buddy. Good luck.
that's all she wrote kids I could do two more right but one would hurt and the second would just be cramps for two hours I don't think that today is my day so we're just gonna end the day go get him John yeah Hi. Well, I was. <laughs> they still are. <laughs> I am uh, decidedly off the back. <laughs> the last video I put out was all about motivation. I was kind of down in the dumps, and you guys left me amazing comments. I showed up at this race at Lacrosse, and it blew all that out of the water. I feel amazing toward racing. My performance at Lacrosse was not exactly what I wanted it to be, but it's to be expected. The last four weeks leading up to that have been crap for training because I've been super stressed about a big project that I was working on for my business. That's done and I am ready to race and ride bikes and have fun. So speaking of that, I have a race coming up this weekend and then after that I'm going to St. Louis for a week to do a bikepacking gravel trip. I'm super excited about that. It's going to be a couple of buddies from high school that do not ride bikes. So I'm trying to just put together a bikepacking video that's going to be totally approachable and something that if you've never done those type of distances, you've never thought that there was something that you could figure out because of the logistics or time or whatever the case, I think I'm going to lay out a case to make it as easy as possible. Speaking of that, I have Ride Across Wisconsin coming up later this summer. Check that out if you're looking for an easy turnkey bikepacking warm-up. I can't think of a better thing to do than Ride Across Wisconsin. The logistics are largely taken care of. There's mechanics, there's food, like everything is there. I'm going to be doing the two-day event. So look out for me there. And then prior to that, Tour of America's Dairyland coming up in just a matter of weeks. Coach Zach is getting me tuned up. I'm super excited to see how that's gonna go. You can see from this lacrosse race, like things didn't click for me performance wise, and that's okay. Totally not worried about that. I'm excited to race and ride bikes, and I hope that you are too. Join me, let's do it.